Hi guys and welcome back. Today I am looking at a theme that I look at quite frequently because it's right up there on people's lists when they come to me and that is the pursuit of happiness. Now the thing is we tend to pursue a type of hedonic happiness. We tend to think that when we experience pleasure it equates happiness for us. However the reality is happiness is the result of two different sources we also have to consider the eudaimonic side of things so basically the hedonic pleasure is things we get when we purchase something you know and they're very superficially based whereas eudaimonic happiness is more um, rooted in meaning it's when we feel our life has a sense of perfect uh, purpose and we need to have a good balance of both however as I said we tend to focus on the hedonic side of things because it's the way we've been conditioned you know I mean ultimately we're continuously been bombarded every day with um, concepts of what will give us happiness or what will provide us happiness or more importantly how we can buy happiness and as a result we um, we tend to invest a lot of money in things that give us a temporary lift however we don't it, 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 it's not long lasting um, and you know when we kind of switch our focus to finding meaning finding purpose and helping other people and um, becoming aware of ourselves um, questioning what life is about then we tend to find more long-lasting contentment and peace of mind and as a result feel happier now it's important to note as well that when we feel happy we need to pay attention to it oftentimes um, the reason we don't feel content with things is that we just aren't aware enough you know and um, for example you know for somebody who's single when they um, are single they continuously say to themselves I'd be so happy when I'm in a relationship or you know I'd be happy if I was in love and then they fall in love and fast forward six months to a year and all of a sudden they're like oh, Jesus you know I mean life is so mundane and I'd be so much happier if my job was different and all of a sudden they've switched focus so they've forgotten to pay attention to the fact that this is something that they wanted for so long they've stopped appreciating it it's just become part and parcel of everyday life and as a result it has lost its allure so it's important to pay attention to the aspects of your life that are going well you know that um two years ago you would have been delighted if you thought you were going to achieve them also important to understand that we are constantly under the influence of social comparison particularly with the the social media um, influence the way it is I mean we're always being bombarded with something better we're always being told that um, we should feel more positive that we should look different that um, we need something more in order to be deemed successful and as well as that it's not just social media pressure I mean from the day that we're, we're born we're kind of conditioned to believe that certain career paths are for us or you know are, are more acceptable um, and uh, I suppose certain relationship trajectories certain uh, life events will are the way to go and, and they're what brings happiness and that's not necessarily so I mean a prime example is the assumption that people who are single are somehow left out or they're missing out on something and more and more studies are shown that people who are single particularly women um, that don't have kids actually have fantastic lives have far lower stress levels and tend to outlive women who are in relationships so you know again you have to be very aware of the social conditioning and um, the social ideologies that are out there and um, the pressures that that you experience to go against what your um your true beliefs your true values i mean we all have a sense of what we really like in life we all kind of know what what would make us happy and yet sometimes we feel because society is set up a certain way that we can't pursue that so it's about getting in touch with your own authenticity when it comes to assessing what it is that is going to ultimately give you more contentment and give you peace of mind 
Then when you decide what it is that you want to achieve or that what you would like to see more of in your life, change your habits. I mean, ultimately, thinking will not change your life. You need to also push action into place. So it's about intention, but it's also about pushing action to those intentions. And the easier you make something, the more accessible you make something, the more likely it is to happen. Because when you're trying to put change in place, even if it's positive change, your brain is always going to fight it. It's always going to want to take the lazy way out. It's always going to prefer to keep you in a state of um, predictable misery or predictable monotony as opposed to allowing you step into um, unknown potential joy so you're already up against a fight so the easier you make things for yourself the better off you're going to be and I mean this starts off in a very simplistic way if you want to connect more with people well then make sure that you have time without your phone or make sure that you free up time to to meet people make sure that things are accessible for you if you want to start exercising a little bit more um, leave your trainers at the at the door so that you see them there so that you know you're continuously getting this reminder that this is something that you want to implement um, and there's a, a professor um, I think it's Paul Dolan who does a lot of work on this topic and he has this great suggestion that if money spending is an issue for you change some of your passwords to your online banking so that whenever you go to tap in to um to spend money just say through paypal your password is do you really need to spend this <laughs> you know and it's just these reminders that are going to make it a little bit easier for you to put change in place ultimately in order for you to achieve something, you've got to make it relatively easy. In order for you to quit something, again, the easier you make it, the easier you're going to find the process. You know, And it's not that you can simplify everything, but it's about giving yourself a boost in any way that you can. So when you're weighing up parts of your life that you want to change and areas that you'd like to be happier about, assess how much they mean to you assess whether or not you're doing something for your own intensive purposes assess how much purpose they are going to add to your life as opposed to how much pleasure they are going to ask for your life and then take intensive action i mean thinking about things isn't going to get you anywhere you actually have to act and action alleviates the anxiety of change so ultimately you're killing two birds with the one stone if change is something that you are struggling to put into place and if you struggle with happiness if you want your life to be a more fulfilling place then get in touch with me on the website it's fundamentals.ie you can also catch me on instagram or facebook um, i also do a podcast with neil o'brien all about how to find purpose and covering all aspects of mental health so it's called touchy and feely it's available on i itunes and um, spotify go check it out like share subscribe really good fun well i have great fun making it and i hope you have great fun enjoying or listening to it um i also have my youtube channel fiona feely go check it out loads of videos with content on mental health issues on how to find more satisfaction in life on how to feel more fulfilled and like share subscribe and i will talk to you again soon possibly tomorrow yeah of course tomorrow <laughs>